All right, what's cracking, everybody? Another day, another another fish purchase. Well, not a fish purchase, but you know, it says live fish on the box. Uh, update on the tank. Everything's still doing real well. Just everything seems to be happy. Um, that anemone is now moved here. It was on the right side, went underneath, and now it's there. So it's having fun. And uh, everything else seems to be looking, seems to be doing pretty well. I'm still diving deep into these RFGs, just learning. These are PT, PETG. They kind of cut a little early, so I'm messing with something new here. Uh, changed the formula up, probably messed that up, but we'll see. Anyways, I uh, wanted to go ahead and we'll do this, a little unboxing. We've got Queen City Corals. Uh, got jumped on their New Year's uh, sale, New Year's and uh, end of year sale. Bought a bunch of stuff, so we're going to go ahead and jump into this right now. I got the box uh, uh, open here. Let's get this open. Boom. We'll see how this goes together. Really nice packaging. Bought it. Showed up overnight. What do we got here? What do we got here? All right, we've got two Ocean City or Queen City corals. We got two stickers. Awesome. So I can start start on that. We got our list of stuff. Uh, thanks, thank you for your order, Christian. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, I bought a bunch of stuff here. To be honest with you, uh, we'll get through that later. Um, here we go. Let's take this take this off cool we've got styrofoam this is still warm that's awesome and we got paper here all right let's open this up don't need this don't need this all right oh we got well we got a lot of bags here oh man okay neon green splatter hammer we got that guy a purple hammer um what else do we get we got a bunch of stuff to be honest with you but all right oh is that this that's just these two all right so we got the purple hammer and the neon splatter we're gonna go ahead and get these into the sump you know how we guys do we gotta get them heat acclimated and then what do we got in here we got more yeah we do got stuff flying around then we got the uh the teal trumpet oh that's my freebie that's cool i got a teal trumpet uh forest fire redactus yes i did and then uh i think i got more than that i think i got more than that so uh, they're all in there so we're gonna have to check this out once we start to get them in and i definitely want to get these dipped um cool and that's about it uh, they're all floating around in here, though, so let's get these acclimating, and then I'm going to get a situation together uh, so we can do a little coral dip, because I did buy some from Brightwell here. Um, this is the stuff I could get offhand on Amazon. I was trying to get to a reef store, but they're like 45 minutes away, and I just between work and everything that I got going on, but I did want to make sure I got this. I was trying to get Revive, and then I was talking to a, a co-worker's brother who is actually Reef Stash uh, on YouTube here and Instagram. I don't know if any of you guys know him, but he also uses Coral RX. Um, I've always used Revive, and then I've already been using some Brightwell stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let's go with this Coral MD. So I have this, and so we'll go through the instructions. It's probably like 30 drops per gallon. So I'm going to have to figure something out to get a gallon of water in. Um, I haven't done a water change yet. Um, so at this point, I think I'm just going to acclimate them to this water um, and then maybe tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, I'll do a big water change to kind of just make sure everything's super clean. Um, but that's the goal. So let me get an acclimation setup going and then we'll chime back in. Okay. They've been floating for a literal hot minute now. So the goal is I'm going to cut them up and I've actually got this jar with a drain, uh, that I was going to turn into a fish tank, you know, stay tuned coming soon for a, for a jar tank, but it's a two gallon, it's a two gallon tank. And uh, I need at least a gallon to a gallon and a half uh, for the Coral MD that I'm going to use. So as long as I get to about right right there, that's a gallon and a half of water. So that's my good litmus test, if that's how you use the word correctly, uh, of how much liquid I need in here. So um, I am going to pull out each one of these things 
and then uh, slowly cut the tops open and get them into the tank here. Um, and then we're going to add the dip and then eventually I will be able to acclimate them while they're in here. All right. So in the first bag, we got the Queen City, Queen City Coral Ice Skirt Akan or Lord, if we want to call them, you know, for doing that. Um, this will look really cool. I guess they threw in a teal trumpet for free. Super cool there. I guess it's like a candy cane or something, right? I could be off. Uh, Forest Fire Rodactus. Super juiced on that one. And then we've got a Queen City Coral Soul Reaper. So I'm going to get these up in here. All right. I got those all up in there. So I got the next round here. We got a Purple Hammer. We got a Teal Tip Gold Crustata Torch. Uh, a Black Light Torch. And we got a neon green splatter. So I need to get all these guys in here and then we need to get to acclimating and just get this thing over with. Okay, I got everybody in. I've just been using this algae barn, filling it up, pouring it in there, just letting them sit in their water. It's like 50% their water, 50% my water. And then I kind of blew everything around a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and add, going to go ahead and add the coral dip. And we can read this together if you guys are interested. This says add 30 drops per, uh, one, wait, 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 30 drops or 1.5 milliliters uh, to one gallon of aged seawater, preferably. So obviously their water is aged, my water is aged, so we're good there. Now we got to add uh, 30 drops. And I know there's a little pipette in here, so I'm going to go ahead and count 30 drops into this. And we are just about... At, uh, I think that's about a gallon. Probably I could add a little bit more just to be safe, but I think we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in and we'll just start uh, aerating the water. All right, so I've got them all in here. I put the 30 drops in. I've never used this stuff before, but it makes it cloudy where Revive is very much more clear. So I can't tell if maybe that it smells like a little peroxide -y, to be honest with you. And so I went ahead and uh, I took the turkey baster. I got to clean this guy because I use it to feed. So I'm going to make sure that I rinse this really well too. Um, and I'd give it a good stir with the tongs. And then I hit each one of those up and kind of blasted them. So I'm just going to basically grab in this guy and just keep stirring this water around so that it kind of stirs this up and it kind of keeps things aerated and moving. And then uh, I'm only going to do this for a little bit. To be honest, all of the frags look like they were like super freshly cut. And then even though they were super freshly cut, um, they looked nice. But I did see stuff come off and it sucks that it's kind of foggy because you can't really tell what comes off. So that I'm not really a fan about, to be honest with you, with this stuff. But um, yeah, we're just going to keep doing this. All right, everyone, I did the whole dip. I just had to do it because it was just taking everything way too long. But I have everything kind of in the front here uh, just to kind of chill out. And I figured this is like in the front of the tanks, the lowest uh, light. Um, we got the purple tip. Everything's in the tank, but also incredibly mad. So hopefully everything kind of chills out in a bit. Everything's showing their skeleton, so that's not good. They came in real nice, but oh, man, hopefully everything works out. I'm just always stressed. Uh, so that's the purple tip torch. This is the green one. That is one set of A-cans, another set. Uh, the splatter um, hammer. That's actually looking really cool. And then we have the trumpets. And then the redactus. Oh, well, that's the black light torch. And then that is the red redactus. Um, I was gonna print a frag rack, but I might do that later. Uh, tonight, but like I said, everything's in the tank. I got it all in there. Everything's real upset, so hopefully things kind of chill out for a bit, and then um, I will check back in once hopefully things open up a little bit more. All right, well they're in and they worked. Super juiced on that. Uh, if you guys can tell, if I can zoom in maybe right around those little creases, there's a little cyclone that shows up at the top. And I think that's because it's not solid right there because it's broken. Um, and so it'll pull in a little air. Um, but right off the bat, the, f 
you could totally see the water spinning when the pump turned on. And I can't really notice a difference yet, but the major thing I did notice is um, this torch right here. It was getting massive flow to the left, and I think it's because the, um, the nozzle was coming straight out, hitting the glass, and then just blasting it. And it was the same reason I had to move the Duncan, uh, because it was just getting like that ricochet. But now when I look at this torch, um, it's like getting flow now, a little burst, and then it kind of chills out, and then it gets this way, and, uh, so I think it's, I think it's doing its job. I gotta fix this, but I think they're doing their job right off the bat, because look, this guy's, uh, kind of collected and going upward, and then he goes flat, and then he's probably at some point gonna get jolted again. And that's random, you know? And I mean, I can move these around to get flow in better ways, but, uh, Overall, solid print, and uh, I'll work on getting some better ones for the most part. Uh, it's a lot cleaner, and I know that I can get it so that way there isn't really stringing in the finished product. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm, I'm juiced. Again, I can, I can move these around so they're not just facing the corners, you know? Maybe I can get, like, one going straight and one going this way so we can kind of get some, some random flow uh, directionally, but I'm excited about this one. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and round this video out. I don't know how long this is gonna be, but they're in. I kind of have them. They're kind of so big that it's kind of awkward. They kind of are touching as best as they can this way, like inward, and they, they're basically pointed at the corners. I put my AI Pi Prime on random. It's like 25 to 60% at a high variance. Um, and then I'm pretty sure my return pump is around 500 gallons per hour. So those are kind of the parameters of how this is looking, but it's the next day now. Um, I gotta pick up this pink hammer torch situation. The plug is glued on, or the, the actual like um, frag is glued on sideways, which is just kind of weird. So even when it's straight, it's sideways, it kind of sucks. Um, the ACAN or uh, Lords, whatever you guys want to call them here, they're doing really well. Um, they're doing good here, at least. Um, this teal tip torch is doing okay it's already kind of small but hopefully it's gonna it's doing well it probably needs a couple days um the neon splatter seems to be doing a lot better now that i took it out of the flow you don't really see skeleton um it, it is much tighter in the morning um i'm wondering if maybe my lights are just too much for it i might have to just bring them down it might just be too much par like all over the tank and the torch is the dirt torch is just doing what a torch is doing. Um, it's, it's getting a bunch of flow from every direction, really. So that's that's kind of fine. It probably just has to get used to the whole situation. It kind of liked just getting blasted to the left there, is what it is. Um, yeah, this anemone is just kind of chilling. And uh, that is the fire redactus. It seems to be doing kind of well there, too. So don't know where I'm going to end up putting all this stuff. Duncan's pretty open right now, which is which is great. I'm um, just going to have to let the tank settle in. Um, I haven't done a water change. I'll probably do that either later today or tomorrow. Um, probably been like two, three weeks, getting close to like a month since I've done a water change. And now that I've done uh, added some corals, I kind of probably should do at least another 10, a minimum, maybe 15, but definitely a 10, uh, just to get like uh, the magnesium, alkalinity, getting all the little like trace minerals back up to where they should be because these guys are definitely going to need some magnesium some calcium and the whole gambit really so yeah i'll probably get to that later today if not tomorrow let this kind of settle out um i still have to replace the media down there and uh i have a real cheap won't suction but this is submergible i should just throw this in the sump but i haven't yet uh, but i just have it on red light 24 hours a day Hopefully the chato kind of starts to grow. Got the skimmer going. It's a little wetter than usual, but uh, that's that's fine with me right now. Um, gonna have to fix this. I'm, when I shut the pump off and turn it back on, I'm getting chato through here into the display, and I don't really want that. So we'll have to figure out how to deal with that. Not the end of the world though. But all right, guys. Coral update. Shout out to Queen City Corals. Um, great packaging, everything went really well, everything's doing great, I'll definitely order from them again. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.